Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm actually going to be landing my, showing you how to land your spaceship either on the day or on the night side of the planet. It's actually very easy. Now remember, you do have your orbit, right? So if I decide to burn uh, the opposite direction than being uh, the yellow circle with the cross, which is, no, that's the normal yellow, yellow circle, the yellow circle with the cross, then I will actually start to reduce my orbit and my either periapsis or apoapsis will come towards me and my orbit will start to reduce. So let's do that. I'm on the night side, okay? And if I start to do that, there it is, and then my uh, orbit will actually shrink into the planet itself. And if I do that on the night side, pretty much I'll have, an, I'll have a landing point on the day side. So there we go. You see it's shrinking on this side more. This will move towards me and it's shrinking on this side. Now remember, I'm moving this way, I'm moving uh, counterclockwise. So once it hits, I'm pretty much on the day, day side. I hope this makes any sense. Now of course there's uh, specific ways you can pretty much pinpoint where you want it to land, and that's it, now I hit the land. Now as you see, I'm moving clock uh, anti-clockwise, so it means I'm going to be landing right here. If I let it go, I'm going to be landing right here, which is the day side. Now let's uh, reload. And uh, let's say we want to land on uh, the night side. So let's move to the other side. Let's move to the day. And we want to land somewhere around here. So we'll do the same thing. Let's move towards uh, the cross. And we'll start burning again. Now we're on the opposite side, so it'll start to shrink on the opposite side which means on this side it'll start to shrink and our actual trajectory or our orbit will and there we go it means we're going to be landing right here on the night side and uh, that's pretty much it for the actual basic in terms of landing on the day and night how the hell do you know it's simple as this you should know now of course there aren't the optimal solutions so uh, i made a really nice perfect orbit for example if you don't manage to get such a nice orbit and let's just mess up the orbit just to give it a little bit of a interesting feel now the worst orbit you could possibly get is uh, is a complete horizontal one now hold on for some odd reason it's not coming back it's not coming back so Let's do this. Let's uh, really change the orbit around. Let's really make a really, really bad orbit. Or not a bad orbit. That's why I said in my uh, actual... Uh, hold on a second. That's why I said in the tutorial that I did yesterday, I freaking forgot which one it was, that it really doesn't matter which... Uh, there we go. For example, let's say you get this. Or let's say you get... Let's see you get to this style orbit. So let me just get to it and I'll get back to you in a second. And I'm back. And here we have that orbit, the one that I mentioned. And it's the same principle. It doesn't matter which way your orbit is. If you want to land on the daytime, then you got to start your uh, slowing burn. Yellow with the cross on the opposite side. And if you want to land on uh, the nighttime, you start off with uh, the, the bright side. It doesn't really matter where you start off, but you got to understand pretty much where you start off with you can say the exact opposite that point should hit it means it should hit somewhere here on the night time it means maybe probably around here because the line will shrink it means somewhere around here you will be landing if you start your burn here okay just to give you one example since i didn't save it because i want to revert back to where i was let's land on uh, the night time actually let's land on the daytime since most of you want to land on the daytime it's a little bit less easier because you can actually see where the ground is but you know you know, sometimes you might want to land on the night time because you need to rendezvous with your uh, base or you need to rendezvous with a rescue mission and stuff. And we're going to be doing a rescue mission here because uh, I didn't put any landing gear on this. So I'm going to try to land it and hopefully not uh, kill the Kerbals, crash land it. And then we're going to be doing a rescue mission and getting them out. So hold on, there we go. And now what we're going to do again, same thing. I'm going to do it here. So probably around somewhere remember i'm going opposite so probably around let, let's make it a little go a little bit more somewhere around here so we get it really in the center okay now we're going to slow down 
let's go to the yellow circle with uh, the actual cross to slow it down which means that this side will shrink of course remember the opposite side always shrinks remember of getting the orbit and switching extending the orbits it's pretty much the same principle now you see as I'm burning here I messed it up as I'm burning it, it hit here it didn't hit down here it means you pretty much got to burn much before it to get it a little bit lower so what I could do is I could fix it remember this is always uh, burning a little bit of extra fuel so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix it I'm gonna say no no I don't want to be sort of on the semi light and day I want to be completely on the day side so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re remake my orbit again get it nice and high remember that there's no actual atmosphere here yeah so that's why I don't really matter if I'm 22,000 uh, meters high because no atmosphere will actually pull me in so that's pretty cool now let's make an actual rotation let's switch off my RCS let's make a rotation and we will start our burn let's say somewhere around uh, somewhere around well not here because this this will shrink this side so we should have started it actually somewhere around there and that would have shrinked this side yeah hold on hold on there we go let's get to the lowest point there we go because remember we're going to be shrinking the opposite side so it means this whole line is going to move like the whole curve is going to move inwards so the curve will move the curve inwards and this part of the curve once it hits here will pretty much be there and then we will land so there we go and you see the whole curve now is moving inwards and uh, remember we're going this way so we just got to keep an eye out on this because remember we're going this way so this is the line that matters this is where we're going to be landing landing in the crater now I don't want to land in the crater I'm going to land somewhere not in more craters there I'm happy with that so that's pretty much it now we're just going to move a little bit quicker we're going to get a little bit faster in and 17,000 meters and now what you're going to do of course is uh, to crash land in this circumstance I'm going to try to crash land as nicely as possible so the guys survive so uh, you don't have to watch this. I'm going to stick it anyways in the video. You can watch me do my crash landing. And uh, I'll see you guys in part two, where I actually discuss uh, more, you can say, complex maneuvers in terms of how to finally pinpoint your actual landing. So this is just in terms of how to land on the dark and bright side. Now you sort of have the main concept. It's really easy. And uh, you can mess about with it, of course. You should, you should, you should try out the different, different ways and different methods. You should keep trying out the stuff and... Uh, get better at it you know because uh, once you do it, a lot of times you don't think about it for example docking now I don't really think about it at all it's not it's not the question of can I dock it's the question of what do I want to dock and why do I want to dock it and why do I want to make a ship you know I'm still waiting for the update in terms of the resources that'll completely change the game as I won't need to ma build massive tankers I'll just build uh, refineries and uh, fuel stations all around the place so I'm waiting for that, that's why I'm not really playing this game until that comes out, because that'll completely change the game and I'll just waste all the stuff I did so far. So now what I'm doing, of course, is I'm trying to move the uh, the actual circle that I have here all the way up, because uh, I want to be completely horizontal when I'm coming down. Of course, I'm going at an angle because I still do have some force. I still do have some energy, you know, and the energy that I do have is, you can say, sideways. You know, so if I get it all the way up, it means I'm pretty much going to be going horizontally down. That's what I want. So I'm pushing it up. Remember, same as docking. If I burn under it, I move it up. So that's pretty much it. We're going to do a crash landing as I have no legs. And then we're going to do a rescue mission and pick him up for my advanced tutorial. Which is pretty cool, because like that you get to see a rescue mission while I'm doing my tutorial. So that's pretty nice. And now I'm at 8,000 meters. And stop it there. And uh, we're going at 37 meters per second, 40 meters per second. The thing is, we're, we're pretty high. That's why I stopped it there. There's, there's really no point in uh, going about it any other way. Let's speed it up a bit. 6,000 meters. Now, uh, some parts of the moon, remember, are hilly, yeah? So you have some, some parts of the moon can maybe jot out 2,000 meters. So you got to keep that in mind as well. So I don't know, I, I think that this one might be actually uh, leveled, but we'll see. We shall seize. 
we have plenty of fuel, so there's gonna be a crash landing. I might be lucky and I might actually get to land this thing, but I don't think so. With the amount of weight, I think the engines will just uh, shatter. Two thousand meters. Two thousand meters. <coughs> It'll be pretty funny if I can manage to land it without landing legs. But I don't think uh, they have the impact. Actually, I could do a tutorial in terms of building your ship and understanding what all this stuff means, but I'll do that later. Ah, uh, I think a little bit too fast. We're gonna crash land. Yep, we're gonna crash land. Nope. Well, it survived. Yeah, it survived. So there we have it, a crash landing, and Bob Kerman is stranded on Eve. Hatch is obstructed. Can't exit. Okay, hold on. There we go. Eve. Well, Bob, you have survived. So, this is our crash landing, and now I'm gonna make the advanced tutorial and we're gonna come rescue him. Shit! Shit blows up randomly. Now, <coughs> this is it. See you guys in the advanced one. Bye!